So um, there's still some, before we get into all the, the business things, because I know a lot of people want to um, chat and ask questions about that. Um, I do want to just, there's some more pictures um, from the, the two days. I just want to just quickly show you, even if we don't totally edit them, um, because there's some really, really great stuff. Um, but we also had a couple of questions there just before lunch, just about that sort of quick composite thing. So um, I, I sort of found the pictures that we were doing. So it's not really applicable to the pictures we took yesterday, but it's just, just something that is, is really good. And it's all about that sort of blending modey type thing. And just in case anybody is interested, um, uh, the, the whole premise of this type of thing is that um, I think Davey was asking about um, uh, creating that sort of composite effect um, by the use of blend modes as opposed to masking or cutting or tracing. Um, and, and we did that with the, the guard with the light where we just sort of put in the flourish valve blend modes and you can just see how quick and easy it is. You don't have to mask or brush bits out and all that sort of thing. So the, the premise of the I mean, it is very, very simple. But what you have to really understand with blend modes is the, the, the why they blend. Um, if we look at that blend mode um, drop down um, menu thing here, oops, let me just see here. You can see there's lots of little sections here, darken section, lighten section, contrast section, and so forth. So really, you can see what's going on there, that when we have an image like this one, that's the background predominantly white, to blend an image into that background and to make it work, um, it needs to be off an image of a similar tone, a tonal range. So example, if we wanted to place this model who's leaning against a wall against a black, or a very dark background, it's not going to work because that white and black isn't really going to blend together. What we need to do is get a background of a similar tone, like a light color tone, and vice versa. If she's standing against a gray background, then we are, we're working with the, the darker tones. So blend modes do work on sort of a tonal range. So for example, this particular um, picture here, okay, um, what we have is a guard leaning up against the wall, um, white wall, and of course, there's a shadow detail here. Now, one of the big problems is even if we were trying to cut her out, the hair is obviously problematic, and um, the coating of things isn't too bad, but th this shadow, I mean, trying to cut out a shadow to paint into another thing is virtually impossible. So the only really way to do this is a blend mode. Um, so we've got a picture here. As we can see, it's like a, a, a white, white wall plaster sort of quite distressed wall which is actually kind of perfect for this picture and works really really well so essentially all we do is we're just going to move this picture onto this picture like so reposition it and just use your blend modes and there you go quick composite Ta -da! easy so um what we do then is i've just got now you can see some of that wall then has crept into her clothes. So we've looked at masks earlier on. So of course now we can just come in with her mask and just, we don't even have to be that neat and tidy and just clean up any of that sort of residue that's spilled out onto the, the skin or the jacket. So that spend saves you probably about two hours masking and cutting out this person. There you go, easy. And the nice thing about this is we've got this shadow intact because if that shadow is against that wall, you'd still see the detail and so forth. So, ta -da, it's that easy. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> so like, you probably spent about three hours trying to cut one of those out, did you? Yeah, okay. Easy. <laughs> so that's how you do quick composites via blend modes.